Why do beets always need to be thinned? You sow beet seed in the garden and they come up too thick. So the following year you plant less seed and what happens? They're too thick again and you have to thin them again. In this video I'll show you why most beet seeds need to be thinned. And I'll give you the names of a couple cultivars that don't need to be thinned. At the end of the video, I'll reveal my favorite beet cultivar, which I've been growing for 30 years. For the purpose of this video, I use my baggie method to germinate some beet seeds. I'll provide a link on how to do this at the end of this video. One of the reasons I like the baggie method is that you can see the seeds germinate, and I use it for most of my perennial and tree seeds. But for beets, I just plant the seeds directly in the garden. This is a picture of the starting seeds. This is what I ended up with after they started germinating. You will notice that each seed has several roots coming out of it. The reason for this is that beets don't make the kind of seeds you are used to. The so-called beet seed is actually a cluster of seeds inside a dried fruit. When you plant them, you are actually planting the whole fruit, and therefore you automatically plant several seeds in the same spot. Botanically, these are called multi-germ seeds. The word germ refers to the embryo, which can grow into a new plant. Each beet multi-germ can contain two to five embryos. The seed cluster in the center of the screen has three embryos in it that are all making roots so it will produce at least three plants. Beet seedlings need space to grow properly, so you will have to thin them to one seedling once the plants are a few inches tall. Don't waste the seedlings you thin out. They taste great in a salad. There are a few cultivars that produce monogerm beet seeds, that is, fruits with only one seed in them. Here are the names of two of them. And if you know of any other monogerm cultivars, please leave a comment below and tell me about your experience with them. My favorite beet cultivar has the name Cylindra, a very sweet heirloom that has been around a long time. It tastes great and makes large, long beets perfect for slicing. The other thing I like about this cultivar is that you get a lot of beet for each plant. As they grow, about two-thirds of the beet shows above ground and some people hill up the soil around them, but I don't bother. Even the above ground parts stay tender. If you enjoyed this video, you'll also like my book called Garden Myths. In it I look at common gardening advice and determine if it is really true. I cover such topics as, does beer really kill slugs? Can you use vinegar to get rid of weeds? And will citronella plants keep mosquitoes away? If you are interested in this book, the best place to get it is Amazon.